Hello? Hello? I uh, haven't made videos since my one year update. That is because my life pretty much sucks very much. And it's sad because physically, you know, I've waited so long to be this man. And I have maybe had my hopes up a little bit that I would be uh, manly looking. <laughs> I mean, gosh, I just am um, for my own personal self disappointed in the effects of testosterone on someone like me. You know, it's my genetics that make it a very weak, um, a weak result, weak experience. Also, maybe my age, uh, just having started later in life. Although, you know, from seeing other people, it's definitely not always the case. So, I have personal frustration. And it is the frustration, not necessarily of someone who is transgender, but someone who is a man who has terrible genetics. You know, I really think of my dad a lot. He's um, not particularly like muscular or hairy and therefore I'm pretty much um, a bland looking kind of losing my hair you can't really tell but not cool not 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 a stud for sure which is okay because because <laughs> that's really superficial oh my god I can't believe I said that but uh you know um yeah I'm just surprised that for one year this is how it is and I look at my face and I really see a lot of my, my, I see a woman, basically. I see a woman's face. I see that I'm a little bit, like, fatter looking than I was in my face. Like, and it's not really fat. It's just, like, it's widened out and I just happen to not have very, um, taut features, you know. Like, some people, you're like, whoa, that person's really, um like skinny or ripped or whatever and it's not because they necessarily work out it or you know and maybe they do a little bit but it's mostly just genetics that makes people you know one way or another it's really plays in in a huge way um long story short <laughs> life has not treated me well with just a bunch of different fates and things and love has been lost and uh you know, I have really good friends, a lot of uh, people at a new new job. Uh, a lot of the guys want to cheer me up because they know I'm down. And they don't know my past, so they just think I'm just a little guy. And they're, they're trying to help me by taking me to out, you know, out in town and ha tr having a good time together. You know, let's go out and just have fun and let loose. woo -hoo! But uh, I have to, like, I have to say no to these things that I want to say yes to. Like, they were like, whoa, that was a crazy night. We should all go to the hot springs and, like, to do some sauna and all this stuff. And really, I can't even take off my sweatshirt because I'm a little self-conscious about my chest because I haven't had, you know, top surgery. So I'm just, um, I'm a poorly adapted man at this point. And, and I... I, uh, you know, I, I received a little counseling and she, the woman that I was just, um, I didn't choose, I just sort of randomly got this female ther therapist and everything was pretty, running pretty smooth, you know, and she asked about my background and I did not tell her I was trans, so she expected that I was a man and she was listening to me like I was a man for a little while and then after, you know, maybe the next session or so, uh, I just, it came up that I was trans, and then it just changed the way she, like, looked at my story and was, started to relate to me as a, you know, as a woman. Like, I felt her doing it. She's like, well, you know, women aren't used to speaking up and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I don't relate to the, the female socialization. Like, um, a lot of trans men say, well, you know, I was socialized as a woman, and I really don't believe that even though people you know I was perceived as a woman the socialization didn't work on me it's not like I ever swallowed that pill or believe that the message of society um when it came to certain rules about what men and women should do and can't you know can't do this do this and and when it comes to like um if you think of all the media that we're exposed to when I was um watching movies or commercials or <laughs> you know, seeing billboards or whatever, 
I saw like, oh, that's me, the man. I'm in that. Okay, when I grow up, I need to be like this. Oh, you know, in order to be a a, a desirable man, I gotta be really successful and have money and blah 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 and impress the babes like this. You know, so that's what I think of as socialization. And I just that's how it worked for me. I was like, I gotta be really aggressive and competitive. Yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> You know, I'm just naturally, um, you know, I'm naturally myself and I'm a certain way and I'm just a nice, really nice person. Ah! Uh, so I'm coming to terms with um, my own limits and dealing with a lot of personal frustration, disappointment, negativity, and... Um, it's been hard. It's been hard and that's why I haven't made videos and if you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> really for some reason makes a difference. Mm.